Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we're checking back in on the Bamboo Lab P1S 3D printer that I uh, first covered in a previous video. I did kind of the unboxing, assembly, first uh, first prints, first frustrations, and I want to check back in on how it's gone in the few weeks since. In the previous video, I talked about the P1S and uh, kind of went over some of my initial frustrations, which turned out to be my own fault, <laughs> like a lot of frustrations. Um, I, I tried to do the simplest thing that I could think of, which was to print directly from the printer, but that actually um, was too complicated, <laughs> or too simple, that it complicated things, and it did not play well with the uh, AMS unit that was with it, and it just wanted to feed directly from a spool on the back of the printer, and it took me forever to figure that out. Once I started printing from the, the, um, the, app, the desktop app, uh, cloud printing it, uh, things went much smoother and since that time I've been printing and printing and printing and I'm very pleased with it. it it's maybe not quite um, you know click and print and forget about it but it's really really close much better than any other uh, 3D printer that I messed around with uh, a couple years ago so um, in that regards I'm very happy with it. All right you can see I have done a lot of printing this is not even all of it this is just some of what I've printed um, a huge gamut of items, obviously done some, you know, <laughs> fun, fun things, uh, you know, the Millennium Falcon and a Star Destroyer, <laughs> as well as some, uh, Battletech figures, which has done an amazing job. I mean, the detail is really, really good. Um, these are after I've cleaned up all the supports on these, uh, and I think they came out pretty clean for a 3D printer. Um, here's a... I think I may have shown this in the other video, a uh, Makita tool um, mount. You can just mount it to the wall and then attach your Makita tool to it. Um, a little fun box that you can play around with, whatever. Then a lot of, you know, just odds and ends. Um, another one of those figures that I've uh, started painting, which need to keep painting. And then I built, made my own parts, which was a lot of fun. Um, I made a Y bracket for dimensional lumber for uh, 5 eighths thick. Um, so basically it allows me to make it a, a Y bracket and then you can you can screw into the wood together and you can use these to make a, a honeycomb pattern or, or whatever. But point is, uh, and you can see I printed a lot of those and that's the other cool thing about the printer is I don't mind uh, filling up the entire build plate and clicking print and letting it print. It just, I, I have confidence it will finish it. In this video, I wanted to specifically look at one scenario that uh, Bamboo Labs has kind of talked about, which is they, they have this support filament. Um, so when you print an object, you can print it in obviously whatever filament uh, color and, and variety you want. But if you use this support filament that they offer, it's supposed to allow uh, easily detach it from the main model and result in a much cleaner model after you clean up. So I wanted to see if that was really worthwhile, um, what are the trade-offs, that sort of thing. So I had some of the filament and I just finished a print and we're going to take a look and see how it turned out. Here is the result and uh, I'm not totally surprised. This is the second time I've done a print with the support filament. I had a similar issue where we got a string of, of filament that just it detached. So if you look at it, it looks like the support structure failed. And then of course, when it tried to print over the support structure, spaghetti, right? Um, this happened on this little figure too. That's why this one doesn't have an arm. Um, and so that's, uh, that's unfortunate <laughs> is what I will say. Um, as, and the other thing that happens, right, is you get this tower when you do two colors uh, like this, it, it, when it clears the nozzle, it comes over here and prints it out so that it doesn't have it here. So then it can switch to using the, the support filament or another color. And uh, so that results in this tower, which is obviously a little bit of waste. What it looks like is, uh, again, that this is just failed, which caused everything else to fail. So we're just going to kind of pull that apart. Now the question is, um, let's just take some of this off of the plate. All right, um, and then I want to see how easy is it to remove 
these um, support filaments versus um, you know a, a normal uh, support printed in the same filament. It's, see, like there, I just took off some detail. Um, you can see the black in there. So that's not as good. I think even though it is easier to detach, um, you're still going to want to be careful with it. Probably still use like some, some snips and maybe some small pliers or cutting tools to, to get it off. But I did detangle that pretty quickly. And, um, you know, largely broke off good. It's hard to tell on this print because it failed. And uh, so you do have a lot of spaghetti strings everywhere. Uh, so what do I think of printing with the support filament? Well, um, it is marginally better than using uh, the same filament uh, for your supports. In this model that I looked at, I was using a, what they call a tree support. And <clears throat> it was easier to remove. That said, it added a tremendous amount of build time to the model. If I had just printed it with one filament, uh, using the same filament for the supports, it had an estimated print time of about just under six hours. Um, so a long, you know, it was a long print, it's a good size model. Um, with, with the support filament, it made it almost 18 hours, so almost three times as long. And, um, it still failed, <laughs> so it's hard to say that that's good. And, and the more specifically, it was the support that failed, which then caused um, you know the kind of a good portion of the model to fail. So <clears throat> I don't think I would use the support filament. Uh, I, I think it takes too long, and also I'm I, I've had now multiple failures when I use the support filament. Where it works, it works pretty nicely. I don't think that the ease of removal is good enough for me uh, to make it worth um, one buying the extra filament to have on hand, the support filament, two the extra time, and you know it's really just saving me a little bit on the cleanup of the model after it's printed. So, <clears throat> short story is, I think it's a no for me on the support filament. Now, if you have a, a Bamboo Lab printer and you use the support filament, love to hear your, your thoughts on it or your use case um, because maybe I'm, I'm overlooking something totally possible. I've been very clear. I'm an amateur, um, definitely not an expert. You probably saw that with my initial assembly and first prints um, where I, <laughs> I tried to actually do a print with just straight up support filament. I just thought it was another color of filament. I didn't look at the, uh, <laughs> the label. To recognize the difference. So, someone who out there has spent a lot of time and worked with the support filament and you've got a great use case, go ahead and feel free to leave a comment. That's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Um, I, I, so far, again, we're now about two-ish, three weeks with the Bamboo Labs P1S. I'm much happier at this point than I was initially when I first set it up. I've been printing and printing and printing. It's pretty much been running 24-7. And I've had a couple of prints that have failed, like this one, uh, when I'm trying to do something significantly different. Um, but for the most part, it just works, and I'm, that's all I want. Yeah, I mean, some people are worried about how can I speed up the print? How can I do this? How can I, I don't worry about that. I just want one that I can quick print and not have to worry about it. Come back four or five hours later, take out my print, and put in the next one. That's good enough for me. So far, it's done that for me. I'll keep you in the loop. We'll probably do another set of videos, perhaps on the so software that you use with the Bamboo Labs, because they do use their own software. And I think um, there's a lot of, I think, personally think nice things about it. And I want to go over that in another video. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.